Ayos. Very good. Alam ko na intindihan mo if it is well explained to you plus uh, it is coupled with your diligence to learn, kayang-kaya mo yan. Next, we go to the second method, bonus method. Ayan. Under the bonus method, the partners may be credited capital interest not equal to their capital investments. Ayan, pupwede pala yun. Oo, isa yun yung gusto usapan ng mga partners to be. The benefit to one partner would be a disadvantage to the other. Aba, yun yung sinasabi natin. Merong masasaktan, merong masisiyahan. Okay? Yung ikinasakit nung isa, yun naman yung ikasisiya nung isang partner. Siyempre, sino yung masasaktan? Yung kinunan. Yung pagbibigyan, yun naman ang masisiyahan. Okay? It must be mentioned that the profit and loss ratio is different from the interest ratio. Ayan, tatandaan mo yan. Class ha? very important ito. Iba ang profit and loss ratio doon sa interest ratio. The profit and loss ratio governs division of profits and losses. The interest ratio governs the determination of partnership interest or yung karapatan mo doon sa partnership. In the absence of the partnership the partnership interest or interest ratio, okay, saka ka lang mag assume that the profit and loss ratio and the interest ratio are one and the same. Pag lang wala yung isa. Okay? Ang madalas na wala, ito, yung interest ratio. Ang binibigay madalas yung profit and loss ratio. So kung wala ito, saka mo lang ia assume na same siya dito. But technically, I'd like to put emphasis on that. Okay? The profit Profit and loss ratio and the interest ratio are different technically. Okay? A given profit and loss ratio governs division and distribution of profits and losses, while the interest ratio determines capital credits. Correct. Very good. Sino ba nagsulat niyan? Nge, ako pala. Okay. <laughs> In our illustrative problem, the profit and loss ratio is given, ayan, but is silent regarding the interest ratio. In this case, it is assumed the P and, that the P and L ratio and the interest ratio are the same. Tulad ng sabi natin, uh, i-assume mo lang na same sila pagka wala yung, uh, yung interest ratio. But technically, they are not the same. They are different. Okay? In our solution format, ayan ulit, ACT, CCD, we first write the contributed capital of the partners and total it as shown below. Ayan. So, step by step yung ginawa ko dito para pa konti konti yung pag-fill up ng data at makasunod. Alright? So ulit, ilan ba yung kinontribute ni partner A? Sagot, kung magkano yung adjusted capital balance. Again, 417,955. Magkano yung kinontribute ni, ni partner B? Again, 322,890. Ayan. Total these two, 407, uh, 740, I should say, 845. Ayan. Again, eto na naman, kailangan mong tan tatandaan mo to. Kailangan mong tandaan under the bonus method. Magpalit tayo ng kulay. Ayan. Under the bonus method, okay, remember this, there is no goodwill. Under the bonus method, ting! Ayan, there is no goodwill. Ang goodwill class pumupwesto sa kahon na to. Ayan, dyan ang place ng goodwill. If under the bonus method, I think there is no goodwill, ibig sabihin, zero tong kahon na to. Kung zero yan, aba, malamang sa hindi, ito ay 740, 845 din. Para 748.45 less 748.45, zero ang kakalabasan ng difference. Are you following. Okay, next. Alright? Although sabi dito, class, we write first the contributed capital. So, dapat pala ang sinulat lang natin ay hanggang, okay, excuse me, dapat hanggang dito lang. Kasi may, may, may format pa tayo sa baba. Anyway, na-discuss ko na. Correct yan, ha? I-erasing ko lang to kasi may format pa tayo sa baba. Although that is correct already. Inuunti-unti lang natin isulat. Yan, ha? An important assumption, sabi dito, that has to be made under the bonus method is that there is no 
goodwill. Ayan, there is no goodwill. O ibig sabihin, sulat uli natin yung nasulat na natin dito kasi inunti-unti ko siyang isulat dito sa libro. Alright, 322-890, inuulit ko lang pong isulat. 740-845, so sabi natin, there is no goodwill. So, zero ito. This must therefore be 748-45. Ayan, so hanggang dyan, alam na natin. Alright? Ang sabi dito, kung maaalala mo sa ating problem, balikan natin yung problem natin. Alright? Let us go ulit doon sa ating summarized sheet. Let us do that. Ito, kung naaalala mo, binalikan lang natin yung summarized sheet. Mahanap mo din yan sa libro. Okay? Anyway, same lang naman para hindi tayo scroll ng scroll. Maaalala mo, the profit and loss is given here to be 60% and 40%. So once again, class, without the interest ratio, you should assume that the profit and loss ratio and the interest ratio are the same. Pag wala yung interest ratio. Dito walang binigay na interest ratio. So, we should assume that the interest ratio is also the profit and loss ratio. I cannot overemphasize that enough. When teachers like me teach in front of a live audience, we derive satisfaction to some extent from the interaction with students. Yung mga simpleng pagtawa mo sa mga jokes namin, they mean something to us. They make us happy. But teaching in front of the camera is a different thing. We don't even know if you're there. We don't even know if you're listening. So a simple like dun sa ating video or a simple present sir, nandito po kami nakikinig. We are watching sir. Will inspire us. When teachers like me teach in front of a live audience, we know that you're there. But teaching in front of the camera is not merely sharing our content. It means sharing our time, our devotion, and above all, our passion. So, yung simpleng pag-subscribe mo sa amin, it lets us know that you are there and we are here to continue what we are doing. So, ngayon pa lang, nagpapasalamat na kami. Diyan sa yung subscription, uh, it inspires us. It, since it inspires me to wake up every morning, prepare discussion materials, and continue what I am doing. So, thank you so much. Please continue sharing and liking and subscribing. Thank you. So, kailangan Kailangan tatandaan mo yung assumption na yun. Okay? Let's go back ulit doon sa ating libro. Okay? 60-40. 64-A and 44-B. Alright. Eto na tayo. Alright? Eto na tayo. 60% daw ito. 40% daw ito. So, 100% yan. 740,000 times 60%. Ilan tayo doon, mga kasama? 748.45 I should say times 60% ilan tayo doon? that must be ilan? yun yung nakasulat dito class 60% 40% yan. times eto 748.45 748.45 is equal to ilan for A must be 444,507 and 296 338.4 part so, eto, 444,507 daw. At eto naman, 296, 338. Ayan. Biruin mo. Ang binigay mo lang ay 417,955. Balik na tayo sa kulay red. Hmm. Ang ikrenedit sa'yo, 444,507. Masaya ka o malungkot ka? Masaya. Eto lang binigay mo, ang kredit sa'yo mas malaki. Masaya ka by how much? Masaya ka by 26. 6,552. Ayan tayo. Okay? Eto, ang binigay niya ay 322,870. Or 890, I should say. Okay? 890. Ilan ang kredit sa kanya? Naku po, mas maliit. 296, 338 lang binigay sa kanya. Masaya siya, malungkot. Malungkot dahil nasaktan siya. Okay? Magkano ba? Ma ma malungkot siya ba'y magkano? Malungkot siya ng 26,552. Ngayon, tanong. Kanino kinuha ang bonus at kanino binigay. Sagot, the bonus came from B, it was given to A. Kaya, masaya si A, masakit naman kay B. Kung ano yung ikinasaya nito, sa namang ikinalungkot nito. Okay? Nasiyahan yung isa, nasaktan naman yung isa. Alright? So, nasulat ko na dito class, natapos ko na dyan. It's uh, supposed to be, dito natin susulatan yan. Therefore, the complete solution, nakalagay dito. Nasulat na natin yung kompleto rito. Supposed to be, hanggang zero lang susulat natin dyan. Kasi inuunti-unti nga natin isulat yan as I am said. Alright? Now, under the bonus method, therefore, papano natin siya jo-journalize it? 
Okay. Si A would be credited a bigger, higher, larger amount than what he has contributed. Dapat ma-reflect natin yan. Ha? Opposite naman si B, mas maliit dapat ang ma-credit sa kanya kesa dun sa binigay niya. So how will we journalize that? In the new books of the partnership. Debit cash, uh, accounts receivable, accrued interest receivable, notes receivable, inventories machinery. Same lahat yan. Okay? Same lang sa doon sa kanina. So, saan may, pag, ma, may pagbabago? Dito ang magbabago. So, debit cash, debit accounts receivable, accrued interest receivable, notes receivable, inventories, machinery. Same lang lahat yan. Allowance for doubtful accounts, accounts payable, A capital, everything exactly the same. Tulad kanina sa first method, sa may net investment method. Parehas lang sila. Eto din for B. Same lang lahat yan under the net investment method. Meron ka lang addition take note lang sa ang nakakredit sa kanila dito kung magkano pa yung kinontribute nila. Alright? Kasi under the bonus method, meron ka pang isang entry. That would be to reflect the transfer of capital from the giving partner to the receiving partner. Ang nagbigay dito ng bonus si B, papunta doon kay A. Okay? Ito yung bago. So pagka nireflect mo yan, yung kay A, madadagdagan kasi nakakredit siya dito. Are you following? Yung kay B naman, eto, mababawasan kasi nakadebit siya dito. That is your bonus method. The rest would be the same. Alright? Ayos. Very good. And alam ko na intindihan mo. If it is well explained to you, plus uh, it is coupled with your diligence to learn, kayang-kaya mo yan. Ito ay pangalawang accounting subject mo na. Correct? Next, goodwill method naman tayo. Okay, the third one. Under the goodwill method, partners may be credited capital interest greater than their tangible capital investments. Than their tangible capital investments. Okay? This is because of the agreement to, to recognize an intangible asset called goodwill. Once again, baka merong nanonood dyan na ngayon lang nanood. Okay? Ayoko mapintasan tayo. Sinasabi ko at sinabi ko na rin kanina sa start pa lang ng uh, subtopic na to. That we are aware that the goodwill method has been recently outlawed by recent standards. And even hindi, hindi na to sinama even sa recent CPA board exam syllabus. Yet, we choose to discuss this because of reasons we have already explained. Okay? Our solution format is the same. Okay? Act CC Deep. Right? One thing that you should remember tulad kanina, kung sa bonus method, you must remember that thing there is no goodwill under the goodwill method naman baliktad there is no bonus ibig sabihin walang masasaktan walang masisiyahan okay? sa goodwill method all right so how do we perform the goodwill method contributed capital ilan ang binigay ni A just the same 417955 Ilan ang binigay ni B? Just the same 322890 Total same pa rin 740845 Ayan okay. Interest ratio as we have explained 60% 40% for a total of 100% Isa pang tatandaan mo sa goodwill method Ang goodwill method ay palakihan Ayan palakihan method Sana Ewan ko na lang pag di mo pa matandaan to. Ang goodwill method po, sir, ma'am, ay palakihan method. That means to say, ang isusulat mo dito sa total agreed capital, okay, nakatabi ng total contributed capital, ay yung mas malaki between the two. Dalawa lang yung partner, so, uh, so between the two. Alright? 417-955-322-890 divided by their interest ratio which is 60% and 40%. Kung sinong mas malaki, sa yung panalo. Okay? 417-955 divided by 60%. This must be 696,591 and two-thirds to be exact. 322-890 divided by 40%. Ilan tayo? This must be 807. Could you please check my arithmetic? 
analytic, mag-solve ka dyan, hawakan mo kalikyo mo, okay? Huwag maghihintay. Although, alam ko, nandyan na sa libro mo yan, for those who have copies of their books. But still, iba kasi pag dynamic ka eh. Tama? Sumasabay ka dun sa discussion. Ang effect nun, hindi mo siya makakalimutan. Alright? Sino ang panalo? Naturalmente, ito. Mas malaki. So, kung sino yung mas malaki, siya yung susulatin mo dito sa baba. Okay? Titong portion. Okay. Since ito yung mas malaki, yun yung isusulat mo dito. Okay? 807-225. Class, wag na natin gamitin yung mga format dun sa baba kasi sa libro, ang presentation, inonti-onti nga, as I have told you a while ago, na i-present yung mga figures. Dito, since nagdi-discuss tayo, isang format na lang gamitin natin. Dito na natin tapusin. Okay? 807-225. So, makikita mo, mas malaki, eto, okay, kesa dito. The difference is obviously a goodwill. Dito po position yung goodwill. Are you following? Ilan ang difference natin dito? It must be 66,000. Could you please check? 380. Okay? 66,380. So, following the same procedure kanina, class, 807,225 times 60%. That must be 484,335. Okay? 484,335. And 322,890. Okay? 484,335 ang capital credit mo. Samantalang ang binigay mo lang ay 417,955. Masaya ka. By how much? 66,380. 322,890 ang ikikredit sa'yo. Eh magkano ba ang binigay mo? Let's change color. Okay? Color blue naman. 322,890. Parehas lang. No difference. Are you following class? Okay. Ito na yung conclusion ng ating solution for the goodwill method. Alright? So, ang goodwill, kanino? Sagot, kay partner A napunta yung goodwill. Si partner B, hindi naman siya nasaktan. Hindi naman din siya nasiyahan. Parehas lang. Okay? Magkanin binigay niya, siya din yung capital credit or partnership interest niya. Yun din yung kanyang karapatan. Okay? So, etong format dito, tsaka sa baba, hindi na natin nagamit. Tinapos na natin doon. Alright? Next. How do you journalize that debt for? Same lang, class. Okay? Same lang. Cash, accounts receivable, accrued interest receivable, notes receivable, inventories, machinery, ops, except for there arises a new asset. That is the goodwill account. 66,380. Ayun o, oh, 66,000, oops, 380. Kay A yun. Okay, balik tayo dito. Alright. Accounts payable, accounts uh, allowance should I say, accounts payable, 384, 335. Yun yung na-credit sa kanya. Balikan natin ulit. Yun o, no? okay. 484, 335. Alright. Kay B naman, same lang din. Everything, same. Okay. Walang pinagkaiba. Kung magkano yung binigay niya, siya din yung kanyang copy credit. That is your goodwill method. So, yon yung parehas na yon could be combined into a compound entry tulad nito and everything is the same. Nandun yung ating goodwill. Alright? So, that is our chapter 2 class. Thank you for listening one second. Okay, class. So, that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. Uh, so, ganun-ganun lang, class. A few minutes of your time every day. Imbis na kung ano-ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos uh, bilang tulong na rin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So, with that, See you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.